be wondering, what am I supposed to do with this whole situation where I have to stay at home? But what am I supposed to play? What am I supposed to do? What should I read? Well, I have all the answers for you in these very sheets of paper. And this pencil, and these scissors, and these sheets of paper, and potentially these paints. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun to do arts and crafts together? We could have a glorious time. We could answer a few questions, have a nice conversation, and it would be absolutely wonderful. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, we're just gonna have a little sit down, heart to heart. Um, I don't usually do these on my channel because I like things a little more um, spiced up and flavorful, but I figured if I asked some questions or had people ask me some questions, we would have a good time together. So that's how this works. So the first thing on our Corona quarantine craft time is um, making snowflakes. And I know that it's springtime, but I promise snowflakes are even beautiful in the springtime. Just not on the ground, just not outside. Uh, up on your walls, that's when they're beautiful. So you're first gonna fold this paper in half and then you're gonna take your scissors and just start cutting random shapes. Voila. So as I'm making the snowflake, I'm gonna uh, go onto my Twitter and see what people asked of me um, because I know that a lot of people are wondering some things. So the first question that we have is why are pickles so sour? Here's the thing, Angel Quina, who asked this question. Since I invented pickles, I know why they're so sour. And the reason that they are is because my favorite candy is Sour Patch Kids, thanks for asking. Um, and so I um, created them to be uh, sour so that they are a vegetable, but they resemble Sour Patch Kids so that they are healthy for you. And I really think that was the heart behind them. A lot of people don't understand that. Um, I don't really, I don't really know why because it makes sense to me why they are named after, not named, flavored after Sour Patch Kids. So I don't really understand why nobody understands that either, but I guess Angela Quina, to answer your question, the reason is Sour Patch Kids. And between me and you, we're the only ones that are ever gonna understand it. So it's fine, we'll just leave the whole world out of this. Um, our second question is, who created mac and cheese? Um, well, you might be thinking, oh, some person far off in the distance of the history created mac and cheese. But you know what? They didn't. I created mac and cheese also. I created mac and cheese and pickles because they are two of my favorite things. Um, and I really just thought that one day it would be wonderful to create mac and cheese, to create macaroni noodles, and then put cheese on them. I also created macaroni noodles and cheese. So the creator of mac and cheese is myself. And that brings us to the end of our first craft, snowflake. You could also use it as like a mask. Um, so that's a possibility as well. So we'll just have to hang this on my wall later. Put it aside for now. The second craft that we're gonna do is abstract art. Um, so this is where your Sharpie is gonna come in and this piece of paper. And then what you do is just draw shapes on random parts of the paper like this all around. Just keep, I think somebody just knocked at my door but I don't really know, so I'm not gonna get it. Okay, one second. No, they can't get in. Anyway, I don't think there was anybody at my door. If there is, they can for sure hear me, so that's kind of a pickle because I don't want them to know that I'm home. So I think that we're gonna have to whisper for a while. Now, on to the third question. 
what was the last thing that you Googled? And I would like to thank you, uh, Luca, for this submission. Um, the last thing that I Googled, uh, well, I Googled a lot of things today, but the last thing that I Googled was, in fact, um, good questions to ask yourself in a Q&A. And you might be thinking, Emily, did you Google these questions? I did not Google some of these questions. Um, some of them I thought of my own. Anyway, so yeah, so the last thing I Googled was that. However, I have also in the past Googled um, how to make your own banana muffins. Uh, how to make abstract art, um, how to create a snowflake out of paper, uh, what are the ingredients of a classic TikTok dance video, and also good games to play with yourself when your boyfriend's at work. Beyonce. Beyonce's at work. Anyway, not because I'm bored, but just because it's a good thing to know for when other people ask you. Anyway, and so that's the last thing that I Googled. The fourth question that I have um, is, or got in today um, from Twitter, was what are your top five dog names? I created a list of my top five dog names for both girls and boys because you can't name a girl dog a boy name and you can't name a boy dog a boy name. I meant a boy dog a girl name. Humans think that you can name their human children boy names even if it's a girl or a girl name even if it's a boy. I'm willing to negotiate, however, you can never negotiate when it comes to dogs. It either has to be boy or girl. There's no in between. Sorry, it's just the rules, okay? Not, I did not create the rules. But, I'll start with the girls list because ladies always go first. And I know that that's kind of not really like a feminist supporting thing to say, but I'm not a feminist, so I don't really care. Anyway, so um, the first one that I have is Shelter, um, and I was inspired by this name because I um, have just really been thinking of shelters recently, whether it's tents or room bedrooms or uh, pillow forts or uh, garbage cans. Whatever your shelter may be right now, I was really thinking about it and um, thinking about how we are just in these shelters. And then I was thinking, man, it would be so cool to name your dog shelter to remind yourself of the time when the governor made us stay in our houses for 30 days because we he has a mental problem. Actually, that was not an at our governor or whatever. It was just literally um, a psychological theory. Anyway, actually it would be like the president. Be the, the entire world. Whatever. Anyway, number one, shelter. Number two is Corona. And I was inspired by this one um, because I have really been thinking that um, that it's just a really pretty name. Um, it kind of reminds me of Courtney, but it's less human of a name because Courtney is more of a human name. So I figured, we, why would we name our dog a human name? Because otherwise we're not going to have a name for our humans. So, changed it around a little bit, changed the lettering, and I came up with Corona. Beautiful, right? I know, it's a nice five letter, C-O-R-O-N-A, six letter um, name, good quality, letters in the name, whatever you pick. Anyway, 
anyway, um, the the third name that I could think of was um, was I gotta get my list because I don't remember the names that I came up with. Oh, the third name that I thought of was Mask for a girl dog, and I really think that that's just like self-explanatory, beautiful name, mask, simple, dog. Number four, binging. So I love, I love this name because it kind of sounds like the boy name for a dog, Bingo, but it's a little bit longer and more feminine with the ing, so binging, binging. Um, and number five is boring, which is a little bit like binging, but it's not the same. It's, it's more, creative, more uh, enjoyable, I don't know. So my top five girl names are Shelter, Corona, Mass, Binging, and Boring. Uh, I can write those down in the, in the show notes or com, com, um, what is that called? I'm not, I'm not a YouTuber, I don't know this stuff. Uh, I can write those down in the, whatever, the comment section or whatever. Anyway, the okay, on to the boy names. Um, so the first one that I have is Quarantine. I thought it was really pretty because, um, and more like masculine version of Courtney, um, except for it's a little bit longer, more like sounds rough and tough, kind of. Um, so number one was Quarantine. Um, number two was Six Foot. Um, that just sounds like a guy's name in general. Six Foot kind of sounds like buff, beefy kind of guy. Um, and usually guy dogs are kind of buff and beefy, so that makes total sense. Um, and so, yeah, so that was number two. Number three was Lockdown. Um, it's kind of like a two-in-one sort of deal because, um, you could say Lockdown and, like, just change your, uh, tone of voice. And then it kind of changes into, um, telling him to sit down. But it also could be, um, Lockdown because, because of... Uh, it's just a beautiful longer name and it kind of sounds again more masculine um number four is cough it rhymes with tough so self-explanatory um kind of makes it seem like it's a tough dog um except for it's cough and it's wonderful it's a little bit um unique for sure and at number five um is uh bored and I know that there's multiple spellings of, of the word board, but this one I was thinking is B-O-R-E-D because it kind of reminds me of being strong, like a two by four. Um, so usually guys, guys are strong, um, and so that's kind of a, a cool thing for um, you to name your dog, your boy dog, um, because it, it kind of makes him sound like he's strong and it, it kind of... Um, helps him with his uh, self-esteem. Um, so that's kind of the list that I came up with uh, for that. Uh, thank you for asking it, Tula, um, that question. I'm, I'm excited for you to get a dog. Again, the names are um, girls, shelter, corona, mask, binging, and boring. And the boys are quarantine, six foot, lockdown, cough, and bored. Um, so I hope that helps you out, Tula, and I can't wait to see pictures of your dog. That's going to be wonderful. Um, so I am done with my abstract art. It's a little bit more abstract than some people like it, but it's a good, it's a good amount of art. And so, um, it looks a little bit like this. You might look at it like this and think, Emily, you were destroying a jack-o'-lantern. No, I was not. It's abstract art. It fits on the wall with all the rest of my abstract art back here um, that I definitely drew. So it'll just go, just go right here with the rest of it and it'll be wonderful. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you'll come back for my next quarantine craft time. Um, ask more questions. My Twitter is at C, -M -C Collins E Emily or something. I don't know. Figure it out yourself. Have a great day.